Hi everyone and a warm welcome to Age of V. Our match today comes from the Champions League qualification round two first leg. It's my local club Ferenc Varos facing Slovan Bratislava. You could not have planned a more tense fixture for a second round of the Champions League qualification because of two reasons. The first is the historical hatred between Hungary and Slovakia. If you don't know much about that, search up the Treaty of Trianon link in the description, the first link. And the second one, an incident in 1992. These two teams, the Hungarian and the Slovakian record champion, they played each other for the first time in 1992, also in the Champions League. And the away leg in Slovakia in Bratislava finished 4-1 to Slovan and then a nil-nil at home. What happened was... In the away leg, when Slovan was up 3-0 already, the Slovakian policemen went into the Hungarian away section and they started hitting Hungarians without any reasons because of my demonstration. At least that's what my research was about. So footage below, second link in the description, you can see what actually happened. I hope we can avoid anything similar today, but what I know that these scenes were shown also to our players yesterday. Our ultra group is seeking revenge and to be honest, I can't blame them, although that's not a solution. But what is for sure today that we will be joined by some supporter friends because Ferenc Varos have a friendship with Rapid Wien from Austria with Schlaszk Wroclaw from Poland and also another Hungarian first division team. Fans from these clubs will be joining us for today's match. I just hope for an excellent atmosphere. Obviously, this hatred and history will contribute to the atmosphere, but let's hope that everything will be about the action on the pitch and not outside and so on. You know what I mean. So, our destination is today's venue, the Stadium of Ferenc Aros, Grupama Arena. Let's go.
really big chance in the beginning for Slovan after the free kick which was saved on the goal line by our keeper and after the rebound was missed he hit the post for an open goal so thank you very much for that and after that we had these long shots but otherwise in the play it wasn't much fantasy and it, it wasn't much in imagination so uh, it's definitely much weaker than the one we with the show we put on against Tobol uh, in the first round of the Champions League qualifications basically everyone five one at home so uh, we are really far from that uh, really hoping for a better play in the second half because uh, this wasn't convincing at all it's all right as Slovan are dropping back 10 men behind the ball but still not much creativity the only danger were the long shots those were dangerous though so if nothing else then I hope those will go in in the second half but also hoping for a bit better quality play let's see let's start the second half Finally, 70th minute, we got that crucial lead for number 6 in Zakariasen, our Norwegian midfielder. We were better, we were better in the second half. We did not have that much power, but the goal to put us in front is finally here. First minute equalizer for Slovan. I think 2-0 uh, was more in the game than 1-1. But poor defending after this free kick. I think this was pretty much their only shot on target in the second half. superior throughout the whole second half but still in the last 10 minutes they scored too what can I say
we could see what can happen if the team in the lead is overconfident. The whole victory, it slipped away in five minutes. And actually, credit to Slovan because they took their chances. Now, the rematch is next week. I'm obviously, as a Ferenc Aros fan, I'm hoping for the best result and hoping to turn it around. But I have to say, the second goal was a really beautiful shot. The first goal we conceded was poor defending, but the second one, unreachable. So, uh, credit to the opponent, although it's hard to say, but... But that's the case. So I was HFV and thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time on the channel. Join me on Instagram and on Twitter as well. Bye.